There are dozens of techniques for capturing carbon, such as planting trees that absorb carbon dioxide and also ocean fertilization to increase the ability of phytoplanktons to absorb carbon dioxide. But the technique attracting the most interest is direct carbon dioxide capture in air in order to transform it into rock that is also known as carbon dioxide removal. Now check this report to know as to how the United States is now investing nearly about a billion dollars in the direct capture of carbon. Take a look. The science is clear. The signs are clearer. Our planet is in peril. Global warming continues to both exasperate sea level rise and extreme weather. Warmer temperatures over time are changing the usual weather patterns and disrupting the delicate balance of nature. This poses many risks to human beings and all other forms of life on Earth. The clock is ticking and the world is looking for urgent solutions. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions will not be enough to limit the rise in temperatures to 1.5 degrees, the target of the Paris Agreement. So, experts say that it is necessary to use techniques for the elimination of carbon dioxide or CO2 in the air. The principle is to suck in air with a fan. The air passes through a filter which, thanks to chemical processes, traps the CO2. The purified air is then expelled from the rear of the fan. The filter is heated to recover the CO2. Dissolved in water, the CO2 is then injected deep into rocks between 800 and 2000 meters deep. In contact with elements contained in the rock, the gas mineralizes in less than two years, a process which naturally takes hundreds of thousands of years. The U.S. Department of Energy announced projects in Texas and Louisiana to remove more than 2 million metric tons of carbon emissions per year. If we continue the scale, uh, the scale of path we've, we've been in, right? You know, just two years ago, we were at a petri dish where we were removing grams of CO2 from the air. In two years, we went from grams to kilograms to hundreds of kilograms to tons to, you know, soon hundreds of tons, to thousands of tons. UN scientists estimate billions of tons of carbon must be sucked out of the atmosphere annually to keep in line with a global goal to cap global warming at 1.5 degrees Celsius. The US alone will need to remove 400 million to 1.8 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide annually for the nation to reach its goal of achieving net zero emissions by 2050. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.